Hey everybody, this is BuilderDude35, and today I have some tips for building your WRO robot at the day of the competition. The first piece of advice that I have for you is before you leave for the competition, put all of the parts that you're going to need to build your robot in a separate little bag. And this is helpful because now you don't need to worry about how many of each piece that you need. Now you have all the parts that you need to use the robot and um, now you just worry about where to put them uh, to build the robot. And also you know that at the end when you're done building the robot, if you have any spare parts, that, that way you know you did something wrong and then you missed a part somewhere. However, it's still a good idea to bring some bins of extra spare parts just in case you need to make an on-the-fly modification, but keep them separate from the parts that you're going to be using to build your robot. Now the second tip is if at all possible, try to assign your team members different areas of the robot to memorize and be responsible for. Like if possible, maybe you have Susie remember how to build this conveyor belt and the claw, and then Johnny remembers the kind of middle part of the robot, and then Bob remembers the back part of the robot. And it's just easier to do it this way because instead of everybody having to memorize the whole robot, you've got each team member uh, mem uh, remembering a part of a robot and they can memorize more detail about a smaller area of the robot and it will probably lead to less errors occurring. Tip number three is that a week before the competition the team member should be going home with notes or pictures or even an LDD of the robot and just studying um, the robot a little bit at a time each each day. Like don't the night before the competition you shouldn't be like looking at it for the first time for like five hours trying to cram. Don't cram just memorize a little bit of it each time and then it'll make studying um, and then remembering it back at the competition a lot easier. Tip four is definitely the most obvious. Just the week before the competition, practice building your robot a few times with the, all the team members. Tip five is very important. This is kind of more of a life philosophy than anything else, and it's that understanding is knowing. And what I mean by that is if you understand how the robot works, which you should because you built it, then you know how to put it together and how it should go together. Like if you're stuck and you don't remember how to put it together, just think about how it should work and then you'll be able to work out how it should go together. And this is also applicable to outside life, but uh, for now we'll just keep it to WRO. Lastly, tip six is also very important, and it's that you should always stay calm and don't stress yourself out too much. It's scientifically proven that a human brain can't focus under stress, and when you're really stressed out, that's when mistakes are going to occur. So just whenever you feel the stress getting to you, step back and take a deep breath, and you'll be able to think much clearer. Trust me, I've been there. Thank you for watching my video today. I hope you found it helpful and now it'll help you avoid making errors when you're reconstructing a robot at competition so you can score as many points as you can. Anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more EV3 tutorials and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.